Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Star, and I hope you guys are all doing well. Happy Sunday to you. I hope that you guys have had a great weekend. Um, we have, we, we've been really busy this weekend. Um, so, but I went to the DT today and I want to go ahead and show you what I got. So, um, yes, I found some new things I was looking for. Um, the reason, another reason why I went to Dollar Tree today is I was looking for those back to school, uh, little lunchbox notes that people have been hauling on YouTube, like, um, and I couldn't find them anywhere. And, um, so I'm sad and I hope that my DT gets them in. Um, but we don't have them at our Dollar Tree yet. So yeah, so that was one of the main reasons why I checked there today. So, but I got a, a bunch of other things. So, <laughs> all right guys, so let's get started. Okay. The first thing I got was this poster board. There's four, four of them in here. So I just picked up this, um, I like the size of it. And um, so, you, you know, you just get four um, just poster boards so that my kids can like do an, a project with this over the summer. And I mean, it's a really good deal, really good deal. So yeah, so I didn't even know they had that. I don't know if this is like a new back to school item or what, but I was glad to find that. So instead of me trying to buy a big poster board and cutting it up, you know, into four pieces. So that was a really, really good deal. Um, oh, by the way, this size of this is 11 by 14, so it can go this way or that way. All right, the next thing I got was, um, let's see, I was so excited to find this, you guys. Okay, so I've seen a lot of people haul these on YouTube, and I um, we finally got them at my DT, so I'm so excited to show you. Okay, so these are those darling, 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 darling um, hand towels for the bathroom, and they had, I think, they had one more, I don't know if I got, I think they had three, I bought, there was four, uh, designs total, I believe, and I bought three of the designs, so this one says, soak, soak your troubles away, and I thought that was so, so precious, so, um, I don't really have this color scheme in my bathrooms, um, so I only picked up one because I thought it was so, so cute, um, but, so I just had to get it, I mean, I, I'll make it work in the bathroom because it's just so, so cute. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nicely made. I mean, it's printed on there, but um, I mean, how cute is that? Like hanging on a hand towel bar. So just got that. And then, okay, my favorite one is the toss up between these two. So I got the so fresh and so clean. And again, this is gonna go in my, this one will go in my downstairs bathroom, I believe. And um, I'll zoom in closer so you can actually see the print on it. Um, so anyway, I got that and then they have washcloths to go with it and you get two washcloths. So you, um, you know, there's the two in there, one, two, and again, it has that same, so fresh and so clean little cute, um, saying on it. So, um, this will work in my downstairs bathroom, you know, so I have, um, I like that it's like really a good price. So 50 cents a washcloth basically. Uh, because you get two in a pack. And I thought that would be really cute to put together, bundle it up, like in my bathroom, like that, you know, like over like that. Um, so yeah. And um, this just reminded me when I was in high school, I used to do, uh, I used to um, be a housekeeper uh, while I was in high school at a Victorian bed and breakfast. And she taught me all different ways to fold towels. And I have to see if I can remember how to, cause uh, they had, they, she wanted her, the bathrooms just perfect, like the lady I worked for. And so she showed me certain ways to do these certain towels, like to fold them into these fancy designs. So I was like, now I'm thinking about that because these remind me of, um, you know, hand towels, washcloths. So yeah, that just brought me back. So anyway, um, it was such a beautiful Victorian, you guys. I love Victorians. If you've, um, Followed me on my other hauls. I talk a lot about the Victorian period. Not a lot, a lot about it, but I always kind of sometimes reference Victorian period. I love Victorians' homes in the era. So anyway, okay, back to this. So I got that. Then I got this one. This one is beautiful too. This one is dark blue, like a royal blue with a gray. It says relax. Isn't that so cute? So this one will also go, I might interchange these in my downstairs bathroom. Again, I got the washcloth set too. And you know what, they also had shower curtains to match some of these, 
but I didn't need the shower curtain. Um, it was uh, like a vinyl, I believe. It wasn't a fabric, and I wanted a fabric shower curtain for my bathrooms, even though these were the shower curtains were really super cute. And I'm sure they would have looked really cute, but I'm like, I already have shower curtains, so I don't need to buy more. You know what I mean? Um, so, but they, these are so cute. Yeah. See this? It says relax, and then again, you can put it on top like that for display purposes on a towel rack. It's so, so cute. So, I can't decide which one I like best, you guys. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. I think they're all so, so cute. Um, yeah, I think they were really cute. Um, then that is that um, bag there. Okay, the next bag I got is full of some um, back to school, well, not full of it, but some back to school items. So now they're rolling out the back to school items, and I found, let's, I got some cute binders for my kids. So this one was so precious with the little birds on it. And um, yeah, it's a mm, three ring, how big are you? One inch binder. So anyway, I thought it was really precious. So I like to get fun binders for my kids. And you know, um, with Dollar Tree, if kind of like that saying goes, if it's not, if you see something there you like, it may not be there next time. So I went ahead and got, you know, this to make sure that it was there. I mean, I, I can, Get a chance to get it so anyway the bird one is really really cute then i got the um the cute little purple with a bunch of food items on it it's so cute like little desserts and oh it's so cute with um you know the ice cream and the fudge the coal and the taco and the watermelon i mean there's so much can of soda so cute so i got that again another one inch binder and on the inside it's got the pattern as well so I thought that was cute. There's no uh, like folder part to put anything inside. So I picked up that. And then I got this one. I thought this one's really pretty. It's, um, are you falling apart? This one's kind of falling apart. Oh no. I think it'll be okay. Um, this one, I don't want to pull it back, but this, the uh, spine on this is kind of not completely sealed. So it will pull back if, if, um, over time, but I think I'm going to just not worry about it and just keep it. But it's really, really cute. Cause look at the print on it with the, um, now that's kind of bugging me now <laughs> cause it's going to just like unravel. I think, um, yeah, look at that. It wasn't, I'll, I'll zoom in. See how it wasn't sealed. The cardboard sticking out. Yeah. So anyway, but that is this binder. And again, it's really cute because like I said, the diamonds are super cute. It's a super different design. I haven't seen this before. And um, yeah, with the polka dots and the little eyes, it's just really cute. So I got that. Then I picked up lots more. Okay. Then I picked up these dinner mints. Um, these are nut free, gluten free. And um, I just like dinner mints, and these are good through March of 2020. And so I just got those, a little snack on, and you get 5.5 ounces. So they're, you know, I've, Dollar Tree I have seen has two uh, dinner mints, and they didn't have the kind I normally buy, so this is a new one for me to buy. I mean, I haven't tried this particular brand. Okay, then I picked up... Another of these sweet tarts, you guys, these are so delicious. These sweet tart ropes, soft and chewy, they're kind of like um, a, fruit, a fruit snack, like a fruit roll-up tasting almost, but um, just they're really, really good. So it's, you get about um, one, I can feel them, one, two, three, probably about 10 or 12 ropes in there, so not a whole, whole lot, and um, but it's so, so good. Okay, then... My last bag I got here is, um, okay, I got these dish drying mats. So what I'm going to do, okay, at my DT, they come in red, which I love the red, but my, um, my decor in my house, I have the, you know, the brown walls behind me, the like mocha color walls. Um, so, and they all, this comes in this color, these drying mats and in gray and like a taupey color, like more of like this, like a lighter color of this. And they also had the bright red, which was gorgeous. I wish I could have gotten that, but it just didn't match my decor in my kitchen, you know? So it's like, I really wanted that bright green or red. And then they also had a kind of like a green, 
I can't remember exactly what shade it was now, but I picked up this one so it goes well with, you know, my interior. But, um, so what I'm gonna use these for, instead of like dish drying mats, what my plan is, is I'm gonna lay these down because we have like a tile kind of flooring in our kitchen. And I'm gonna put my dog and cat dishes on this so that it just, so like, you know, when food drops out of the bowl, um, I can easily just like pick this up and like, you know, like, I'll show you. So there it is. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I think it's going to look a lot, it's going to also like center, like, you know, um, it just kind of makes it like, I don't know. I just feel like it, it'll look nicer when it's sitting on something too. Um, I have a degree in interior design, which I'm not practicing into. Well, I'm, I'm not working right now as an interior designer, but I have a bachelor of arts in interior design. And I remember one of the design principles we learned is like, um, it's not really a design principle, but like when things are like, it just grounds things more. Like say you have a, like a dining room table and then you put a rug under it. It just kind of grounds it more. It's more kind of like more pleasing to the eye. Like when things are grounded instead of just like, so like, that's kind of like my thought process is I think it'll look nicer if, um, in my house, if we have these with the cat and dog dishes on top of it, um, it just will look really kind of like it's a place. It'll have its own place. You know what I mean? Like, um, for these, it'll just look nicer, I feel, in my opinion, for my house. So, let me go ahead and show you. So, this is what they look like, and this is how big they are. So, they're, they're, they're the size of a placemat. So, what I'm going to do is, like, so say if food drops out of their bowl, all I have to do is move their bowl over, and then just take this to the sink and, like, you know, shake it off this, this little uh, rug in the sink, and then put it back underneath their bowls. So, just we'll kind of keep things cleaner. Um, and also if it gets dirty, I can just put in the wash machine and then just wash it. So that's my idea, my thought process behind that. So like I said, the red, you guys, was way, way more like, I love the red. It was like, like lipstick red, this, and like, I'm really kind of wishing I bought that now that I'm thinking about it, but this, maybe Christmas time or something, but this will be really, really cute for now. So that was what I'm going to do with that. Um, and these are actually pretty nice, you guys. They're, they're like, have a raised, uh, square to it. I hope you can see that. Anyway, there's lots of uses you could use for these besides dish drying mats. See how there's like, there's so many uses for these. And these are 12 inches by 18 inches um, in di uh, size. So anyway, yeah. All right. The next thing I got was these. So these were 50% off because, you know, uh, 4th of July has come and gone. And so I got two of these for 50% off. So it's uh, the hanging lanterns, but these have the LED lights. So this will be perfect for next year. I'll store it away. And um, this is the one that has all the like patriotic like sayings on it. I'll zoom in closer. So this was only 50 cents and it takes batteries. There we go, there's batteries. And then this one I love because the stars it looks like a flag. And then the back. So 50 cents. So that was a good deal. So I got two of the, it only cost me a dollar for both of these totals. Pretty good deal. I'm excited about that. All right. So then um, I bought some paper plates. So just need more of those. And you get 40. And these are the paper ones, not the styrofoam ones. And then I got the um, Bolero or Bolero. Bolero hand, hand wash, pink and sea salt and rose water. So I went ahead and got that for our kitchen. So um, to, I haven't tried this scent out yet, but I'm sure it's going to be nice. Let me go ahead and smell it for you guys to tell you what I think of it. Let's see. Oh, it, does, it totally smells like, um, like roses. Yeah, it smells really good actually. So yeah, that's nice. So that'll be good in the kitchen. Yeah. So I got that. Then I picked up some chiclets. Uh, these are, oh, are they open? Oh no, they're not open. Okay. These are not chiclets. These are called canals, but I think they're also called chiclets. And, um, these are, these ones are called canals and you get spearmint flavor. They're so good. Cinnamon flavor, peppermint flavor, and tutti frutti flavors. So anyway, 
You get that for a dollar. So I got that for my daughter to have. Um, so anyway, that's a good deal. You get like a lot in there. One, two, three, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Um, twenty packs of little gums in there for a dollar. All right, then I picked up a thing of soup. So that's just kind of a repeat buy. And then I also picked up a repeat buy of the Ready Wipes. I really do like these. They're they're really nice. So um, like when I went to Ikea, I brought these with me to Ikea. So when we ate upstairs in the cafeteria, I could wipe the table down, which was really, really nice. And actually we left, accidentally left the Ready Wipes in the cafeteria, but there was like just a few left in there. Um, so that was a bummer. So I left the can upstairs at Ikea. But um, so I needed another one of these for my car. So that's why I just picked up another one. And then the last thing I got was the um, palm olive raspberry coconut. So I actually really like palm olive. Um, I bought, I hauled palm olive, the green one, like maybe two, maybe three, I don't know how long ago, but I go through dish soap really fast. Um, and so this one is, I know you can get the bigger ones at DT, like the actual big, huge sizes of soap, but it's not palm olive. And I just really like palm olive. It has a really nice smell. Like when you're like, I, um, clean my sink with it too, palm olive. And so, um, yeah, but I haven't tried the raspberry coconut yet. So I'm excited to try that. I'm going to go ahead and smell for you guys too and tell you what I think. I didn't smell it in the store. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells like raspberry. So yeah, so there it is. So I got that. And, um, yeah, so sorry, my phone just is in the desk and it just, I got a text message. It just vibrated. Okay. So yeah, so I got that. And, um, like I said, there's some, there's a lot of great deals at Dollar Tree with uh, dish soaps. I mean, there's like so many to choose from. It's like almost overwhelming because you're like, where do I choose? Because I have bought the big one, the big size before. And I like that too, but something about palm olive, I don't know, like it just smells so, so clean when I use it. So all right, guys, so that is my DT haul um, for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so I feel like I got a lot of good things and stuff that I definitely needed. Um, yeah, and I'm going to keep checking back my Dollar Tree for those those uh, lunchbox notes. I really, really, really want those for my kids' lunches because I, I always write them a note every day for their school lunches. So I thought that'd be really fun, especially at the beginning of the new school year, to actually have something like already done for me and I just have to like write on the back of it. So really want to find those. So I'm going to keep checking back for those. Um, so yeah, so that is my DT haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you guys so, so much for being here and um, I will see you soon with my next haul. All right guys, till next time. See you all soon. Bye.